Welcome to Gurukul Prep Daily Updates on June 14. Update 1. Important Day. World Blood Donor Day. 14 June. World Blood Donor Day is commemorated annually on June 14. In 1940, a scientist named Richard Lower performed a blood transfusion between two dogs with no adverse effects. This invention enabled the development of contemporary blood transfusion techniques, making blood donation and transfusion a routine operation in the healthcare sector. In 2005, the World Health Assembly announced June 14 as World Blood Donor Day every year. In 2024, the theme for World Blood Donor Day is, 20 years of celebrating giving. Thank you, blood donors. Update 2. Appointment. Abhijit Kishore and Rahul Watts appointed as new leadership of COI. The Cellular Operators Association of India COI finished its annual general body meeting for the fiscal year 2023-24 by announcing its leadership for the term 2024-25, which begins in June 2024. The association's chairperson will be Abhijit Kishore, Chief Operating Officer of Vodafone Idea Limited, and its vice chairperson will be Mr. Rahul Watts, Chief Regulatory Officer of Bharati Airtel. Abhijit Kishore has over 30 years of expertise in the Indian telecom business, spanning jobs, organizations, and locations. Rahul Watts is a telecom industry veteran with 29 years of experience and an expert on telecom and broadcasting licensing, economic regulations, spectrum management and regulatory litigation. Update 3. Banking. SBI revolutionizes SME lending with SME Digital Business Loans. State Bank of India SBI has launched a new SME Digital Business Loans program in which India's largest bank will use data from income tax and GST returns, as well as bank statements, to credit assess micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, MSMEs and sanction loans in 10 seconds after submitting the necessary details, with no human intervention. For loans up to Rs 50 lakh, SBI has waived the requirement for financial statements, relying instead on transaction history and GST returns for appraisal. Update 4. Books. Alia Bhatt to launch her first children's picture book on June 16. Alia Bhatt is about to achieve a new milestone. She is releasing her debut children's picture book this week. The first in a series of children's picture books titled, Ed Finds a Home, is published by her children's clothing line Edda Mama. Ed Finds a Home is part of a children's book series, with a focus on inspiring love for nature in the coming generation. This is Edda Mama's first foray into publication, collaborating with Puffin and Penguin Random House India imprint. Alia will launch Ed Finds a Home at the Children's Literature Festival, Storyverse, taking place at Geo World Drive in Mumbai on June 16. Update 5. Miscellaneous. Oxford University agrees to return stolen 500-year-old bronze idol to India. The prestigious Oxford University in the United Kingdom has made a significant decision, agreeing to return a 500-year-old bronze figure of a saint to India. This artifact, stolen from a temple in Tamil Nadu, holds immense cultural value in India. The university's Ashmolean Museum stated, on 11 March 2024, the Council of the University of Oxford supported a claim from the Indian High Commission to return a 16th-century bronze sculpture of St. Tirumankai Alvar from the Ashmolean Museum. This decision will now be submitted to the Charity Commission for approval. Update 6. Obituary. NBA legend Jerry West dies aged 86. According to the Los Angeles Clippers, Jerry West, a renowned NBA player who inspired the league's current emblem, has died. He was 86. West, nicknamed Mr. Clutch, on the court, was drafted by the Minneapolis Lakers in 1960, just before the team migrated to Los Angeles. He played for the squad as a point guard and shooting guard until 1974, when he became a 14-time NBA All-Star and helped lead his team to nine NBA Finals appearances. West was also a county captain of the U.S. Olympic basketball team that went on to win the gold in 1960. Update 7. Sports. India named hosts for 2025 FIH Hockey Men's Junior World Cup. 
India is scheduled to host the FIH Hockey Men's Junior World Cup in December 2025. It will be the first Junior Hockey World Cup to feature 24 teams. Giving more opportunities to play to a larger and more diverse number of national associations is one of the key pillars of our empowerment and engagement strategy. We saw at the FIH Hockey Fives World Cup in Oman this year how more diversity brings a huge added value to our events, FIH President Tayyab Ikram said in a statement. India has already hosted the tournament three times, in 2013 New Delhi, 2016 Lucknow, and 2021 Bhubaneswar Update 8, Sports, UP to organize 2025 edition of MotoGP Bharat in Noida. The Uttar Pradesh government has revealed its plans for the MotoGP event, which will take place in Noida city from 2025 to 2029. It has also announced a partnership with Fair Street Sports, an Indian partner, and Donna Sports, a sports company based in Spain. The event was originally scheduled for 2024, but bad weather forced a postponement, and it is now scheduled for March 2025. MotoGP is the pinnacle of world championship road racing. It developed primarily in Europe after the FIM Federation International de Motocyclisme consolidated the regulations for motorcycle competition for the first time in 1949. Update 9. State Gale to set up India's largest ethane cracker project with Rs 60,000 crore investment in MP. Gale, the country's largest gas supplier, has announced a groundbreaking initiative to establish a 1500 kta ethane cracker project in Ashta, district Sehor, Madhya Pradesh. This project, with a product slate including several ethylene derivatives, is set to become India's largest. Gale has projected a substantial investment of Rs 60,000 crore for this venture. The MP Industrial Development Corporation Limited, a key local player, has committed to providing approximately 800 hectares of land, demonstrating their crucial role in the region's economic development. The state government has already initiated the process, further solidifying the local impact of this project. Daily Update 10 Summit and Conference PM Modi in Italy for G7 Summit Prime Minister Narendra Modi embarked on a significant journey to Italy on 13 June to participate in the 50th G7 Leaders Summit. This marks his first international visit since assuming office for the third term. On June 14, Modi will engage in an outreach session for the summit with a high-level group. The session will revolve around crucial themes such as artificial intelligence, energy, Africa, and the Mediterranean. Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra has highlighted that this will be a block agenda item fostering an exchange of perspectives and ideas between the G7 and outreach countries.